That's right, I've filled my PC's drive to the brim with documents. If you are a university student or you deal with a lot of heavy files at work, you might relate to this. It's not easy to keep everything organized, especially when your downloads folder is constantly cluttered with 500 megabyte PDF books and 2 gigabyte video classes. I'm gonna be honest with you, this stuff isn't that terrible, I mean, the blue screen of death reminds the king of shock in a Windows PC, right? But this wacky stuff can certainly scare you, if you're caught off guard. So if your laptop is over 90% full and you want to be prepared for what might happen, watch this video until the end. I'll go over all the madness I've been through by levels. There'll be three levels, each one crazier than the previous one. And we'll basically go from a bathtub slowly filling with water to me getting drowned in all sorts of issues, bugs and errors. Let's get into it! After my storage dropped below 1 GB, that's when stuff started to happen. Welcome to my desktop by the way, it was specifically designed for you in this video. So one of the first bugs you'll notice is that some icons in the taskbar will start to disappear. At first you might think that these shortcuts are gone for good and that now you'll have to use the desktop icons or go to the start menu. But as soon as you pass the mouse over that area, you'll notice that the apps are still there and are clickable as well. It's the icons that are not being displayed since there's not enough memory. All you must do now is remember which one is which. Not buggy enough for you? Don't worry, we're just starting. <laughs> Sooner or later, you'll start getting this annoying pop-up that covers all screen and blocks whatever you're doing because your computer doesn't care. And it says, unable to download updates, could not download updates, cool, let's close this. Oh wait, you can't. We are forced to open a Windows update window. And here we get a reality check of how many stuff we're missing because we're not uploading our PC. I'm going to close this and hopefully nothing pops up from the side to bother me. Oops, what is this another message that will be bugging you forever? Free up storage space, your computer is running out of space. Thank God we can close this one. So at this stage, you're still getting all the previous bugs happening daily, coupled with some weird occurrences in Windows File Explorer and other apps. Oh, not you again. Uh, notice how now it can't even install the already downloaded updates. But anyway, let's close this. Did you notice something weird? This is the bug I was talking about. Icons might start to be displayed as empty or simplified both in the desktop and in the file explorer as well. As for third-party apps, they might refuse to open, just like WhatsApp, which is stuck trying to load the messages. What a shame, let's continue. In this phase, your PC has no space to breathe. All types of things start to happen, along with the previous stuff, which has been happening more and more frequently, and the messages get more assertive. For example, you have this new warning which allows you to directly manage storage. Hey, look at the lower right corner. Activate Windows watermark? Crazy, right? It's okay, a simple restart removes this and solves the issue, but it has happened to me twice, you know? You might have also noticed that the desktop shortcuts get little crosses as well. So weird. Until this point, apps have been working just fine. For example, I've been able to browse the internet with 30 tabs open, despite the lack of storage. But when you have just a few kilobytes left, you run into issues. Chrome starts to freeze pages you might have visited, locking you down to the websites you've already opened. You can navigate inside them, but if you try to open a new one, you can't. Videos might flash, and you often run into the Oh Snap page. You might try to use Edge instead. I did it, but that will only work for so long. And what else? You won't be able to download files, copy and paste will stop working, and you might not be able to take screenshots, they won't get saved. And the screen might flash as well. 
hot light uh, works, but uh, it's hard to understand what's going on because everything is invisible. You'll struggle to load big PDFs as well on Adobe Acrobat, and what I used to do is drag and drop them in Chrome. And that's worked for a while, but at this critical stage that also stops working. I'm kind of already giving you the tips to deal with this, you know? What else? Uh, apps will crash, Outlook will crash, because it can't create the work file. This often happens after the operating system gets upgraded or relevant setting files are improperly moved to another computer, but uh, in this case your Outlook data is safe, don't worry. Here we simply must free some space to solve this issue. Uh, what else? WordPad will refuse to save your pieces of text. Same with, with Word, which runs into different types of errors. What else? Spotify will refuse to open. So many things going wrong, you know? WhatsApp will restart multiple times or even refuse to reopen altogether. It's crazy. And uh, listen to this. A very interesting, curious event that, that I have experienced only once is the Verfault app error. The Verfault is a Windows feature responsible to log errors occurring in the operating system. It's activated every time an application fails and it's the mastermind behind the dialog box that you might have already seen. What's funny about this is that you know, you really know things are getting bad when the app responsible to report other apps crashes starts crashing as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> But in case you're running out of storage, I hope you feel more prepared to face these bugs and learn some workarounds. As always, share your, your experiences in the comments down below. I'm taking the house and I'll see you next time.